Okay. We are going to be... We got to do a procedure here to prepare for isolating the motor for wiring uh, in case we do DCC in the future. So, as you know, these clips that go on the bottom of a motor, they have these two wipers on them. And those two wipers touch spring and they get the black wire power to the motor. So as you know when the electricity comes into the wheels what we call the red wire is the right hand side of a locomotive when it's facing forward. The other side, the black wire, kind of like on a, a car battery. The black wire power goes it goes from the wheel to the truck or yeah, from the wheel to the truck to the frame, and the frame carries that that uh, black wire side. To isolate it, we need to do something about these clips here. They can't be touching the frame anymore. Now, a lot of people just cut them. I don't do that. I don't cut them. Sometimes I just might snip the very tip of them, but normally I just place them here on the bench vise and take my little ball peen. this hammer on. Okay. That's it. That's what I do. Then we take some electrical tape, some regular old black tape for electrical and we and I cover the spot where these would have touched. But I prefer this hammering to them. Um, it's cleaner. Okay, did we get them all? One, two, three, four, and that's it. That's how, that's what I do with those clips. I like that a lot better than cutting. Uh, some people cut them and then they try to bend them. And it can, you can have some effects from the fact that then the whole thing is weaker. One of those effects being the little part where you cut it off could be Especially if you got a bad motor mount, content it can bunch up the. Uh, if you use a tiny strip of electrical tape, you can bunch that up. This is cleaner, and it makes it um, nice and easy. I can use a little bit wider piece of tape then. That's all there is to it. Just hammer them in, and you're good to go.